Alright y'all boys, so for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can easily sign up for mental therapy because you're gonna need it after you play this goddamn game. Now in recent time, Bungie has been cracking down on leg armor and more specifically and more controversially, I guess you could say, they nerf stompies. Warlocks have theirs, Titans have Doom Archers which literally chain lightning to people. And now you have another one, which is Unteus Wards. Now in the long line of exotics that have been super annoying to play against, Unteus Wards has jumped into the picture out of nowhere. People are not people, just Titans are sliding with shotguns and just pissing everybody off in the Crucible. But what are we doing today, you ask? We are going to rumble we are going into iron banner and we're gonna piss off people we might even get a couple messages yeah but there's been a lot of conversation going around the state of destiny 2 what's it supposed to be how they can make it better and what bungie's focus is really on you know ever since d1 there's always been something that's been broken with the game and people have wanted to fix some things get patched a lot quicker some things get tuned a lot faster than other things but see the thing of the matter is when it comes to bungie and like trying to like address stuff in this game it, they, it's like they take their sweet time to actually fix it and that goes for the pve and pvp side now a lot of people who play pvp on this game definitely feel left out because bungie for the most part they clearly just don't care about the pvp side of this game at all i mean that's just a fact it's nothing new we all know this not saying that this is a pvp game necessarily it's definitely like a pve game that just has pvp in it but here's the thing though if you were to take pvp out the game it would change like the whole dynamic of how people feel and how many people actually invest time into this because a lot of the cool guns that you get you get it from like dungeons and everything like that and then you turn around you're like okay cool i got this gun now i'm gonna go into pvp and use it that's kind of like the relationship that this game has always had holy i went from playing apex earlier to trying to play this and i am struggling to aim right now holy now, when Destiny 2 was going through that dry spell when we literally had no content after like the first or second year of it releasing, BVP is literally the only reason why people even played this game still during that whole Mars Escalation Protocol drought. Because I tell you right now, if there was no player versus player, I promise you, bro, this game would not be relevant right now. And a lot of things that come with Destiny is definitely mindset too, because I quit caring about like trials and con I, could, I quit caring about that like a whole like year and a half ago. Because here's how I kind of feel about PvP on Destiny. I've kind of come to realize, I mean, I realized that when they sat there and said we wanted to have, you know, more gunplay focused, you know, gameplay. And then they came out with Void 3.0, Arc, and Solar 3.0. Now, I gotta say, on Teus Wards, I honestly don't really like using them. It's not because they're cheesy. I just literally, I'd rather just use Doom Archers or something like that. I'm not gonna... That man had mapped my freaking ass. I will say, my main gripe with them right now is the fact that cheaters and people that use like Cronus and all those like, you know, aim assisting little plugins, whatever they're called, they literally just run rampant. And then you got guys like Grenader Jake and other streamers who sit there and get stream sniped on a regular basis. Keep in mind, the trials population wasn't even that big in the first place. They're already like matching like, you know, friends and other streamers constantly over and over again. Forget them having aim bot, which is already busted in and of itself, but like, you have all the abilities all of the customization with the classes even without hacks it's already hard enough to win as it is and it's just bungie just hasn't gone out their way or hasn't even really put in an actual effort to sit there and ban these dudes who are blatantly doing this why can't why can't i take this guy out what in the world i was shooting ghost bullets or something and i know they're coming out with a new game called marathon and everything now how that game is gonna turn out that remains to be seen because i have no idea what, how that will end up like no way he, he tried that acting like it was gonna work can i put oh my goodness let let me punch somebody please put just, just, just let me melee, just please. This video might be on the short side because I do got to dip and go do some things. But here's the thing. So I made a community post last night and I was trying to edit a video. And my freaking video editor sat there. Well, it was two different problems. One, my video editor just wanted to sit there and act stupid. And two, somehow my video files I sat there and recorded, they all got corrupted. So I was just like, bruh, if I sit there and like quit out the game or I turn off like my recording software too quickly, it'll just mess it up. It's like I have to give like a three to five second window, which is so stupid. So as far as that community post I posted, yeah, uh, that might have to get deleted because that is officially inaccurate.
But yeah, let me know what you guys are playing down below, man, because uh, Desi right now, yeah, it's kind of dry. I'm not going to lie. If you can still sit there, if you're a streamer yourself or you, you play this game a whole lot, I don't, I don't know how people do it because I can only hop on every once in a while and yeah. But I'm out of here, y'all boys. Y'all be easy.